boys today we got a doggy on board but we are sheep head fishing with my good friend richard and my other good friend andy yeah you've Ooh. seen richard before he's been in uh, my videos specifically the one that we caught sharks behind shrimp boats but today we are getting on a little bit of a november sheep head run it happens annually here in jacksonville sometimes you can get lucky and have really really good days of sheep head so we're out here at the jetties there's a lot of activity going on around us. There's Navy doing exercise with helicopters, picking up people. We got Navy ships inbound with sea tractors. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get a little bit sheep headed in it. So we're gonna have at it. Isn't that right, Maverick? Maverick, say hi. <laughs> Why are you making a ripple? Stop. <laughs> She's calling him in, calling him in now. <laughs> now this is how it happens. Nope. Oh, sheep's head. Yeah. That was a swing and a miss. They're here, they're here. You got him? Damn it, Richard. <laughs> Richard's crushing it. Freaking three in a row. And they're all coming up, that's two. Highlight like reel. Hang on, hang on. Curly boy. Oh, oh, they're white now, they're super white today. Pretty dirty water, yeah. that's why. Yeah, for and we're teeth. Look at them things. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, my family is. There we go. There we go, boys. Oh, so sheep ahead. Oh, it's a what? Oh, this is a uh, margate, right? No, it's a. Uh, what are these called again? I've always called it margate. I think the, they must be. No, they're. Uh, I think they're margates. Those black margate. Oh, it is a black margate. That's right. Well, some different. I guess. Uh, I guess they come in this time of year, right? Yeah. Kind of like. This actually might be the. Ow, you poked me. This might be the first one that I've caught. It's not of any size. I've caught them offshore and stuff, but. Regulated just size limit. Yeah. Eating fish for meat. Yeah, it's just like a black drum. He's grunting though. Very cool. Be a nice little hole fry, eh? I think that offshore stuff has helped a lot with. Uh... Oh, look, there's a jet. He fell down. Navy's doing all kinds of. Guys, you just can't wait to go high speed, and they're like high speeding all summer and shit. But here, for the lack of content, I guess I'll show you a blemmy. Oh, blemmy, big goby! Wow, super pretty, and stealing all the bait. Alrighty, boys. So I'm gonna touch on what rigs and rods to use for sheep's head. First of all, I think the only consistency about targeting sheep's head is what rods and reels to use. I have two main setups. One is a bait caster with 15 or 20 pound braid like with a medium heavy rod. The other one is I have a Stratic 3000 with braid and if you're going to use braid for these fish, you need to have a minimum five foot top shot of mono or fluoro just to have a little bit of stretch. You're going to pull a lot of hooks. Um, speaking of braid, I teamed up with Beyond Braid. Wow, they have a bunch of really cool line. It's a really good product. Um, Gabe actually introduced them to me. And if you use my code JoeVT on their website, you get a huge discount. I like it because it's like, you know, red, white, and blue. They have a bunch of good colors. I have an issue with Power Pro's original green line. It's impossible to see. I hate using it. Uh, with Beyond Braid, they have a ton of different colors. And uh, again, big discount. So look them up, Beyond Braid, JoeVT, whatever. As for rigs, sheep's head fishing is all over the place. There's a lot of people that use jig heads. There's a lot of people that use knocker rigs. I grew up fishing on the pier with Carolina rigs with eight to 12 inches of leader, 30 pound leader. When I went to Louisiana last month, we were catching them on popping corks and live shrimp. What you really need to do is go to your local tackle shop and ask what kind of terminal tackle they're using catch sheep's head. There's a lot of charter guys that use all those rigs that I mentioned. Richard actually used three different rigs when we were fishing yesterday. And I think he caught fish on all three, if I remember correctly. Here in Jacksonville, we mainly use fiddler crabs or live shrimp. People like to use clams for them. People like to use oysters, sand fleas. Based on what bait you're using will determine what kind of hook you use. And hooks are super important because you've seen their mouths. It's really hard to get a good hook set on these fish sometimes because the top and the bottom of their mouth is just straight teeth. So the hook's really important based on what bait you have. Again, depending on where you're from, what time of year it is, 
Some bait might not be available, some bait can be available. Here in Jacksonville, we just had a cold front. That means all the fiddler crabs like to stay down in their holes so we didn't have fiddler crabs for a couple days. So I implore you to go to your local tackle shop and I'm sure they'd be happy to help you out. Or just look up sheephead jig heads and uh, go from there. <laughs> I got tossing a sheephead around. Go up to him, go up to him. Uh, oh. I don't know. Like oh my god, there, there, there they are. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Skyrocket the cheap dead. There he is. That is pretty funny. What is he doing? It's a bunny. He's just picking it up and throwing it. Why are you doing that, buddy? Another one with a sheep head there. Yeah, I think it was. Give him a sheep's head. See what they do. Playing catch. Playing catch. Playing ball with his son. Father, son, wholesome dolphin relationship. One more time. Still doing it? I just seen him right there, yeah. Get your catch a fish around camera. I'm gonna show you how it's done again. Yeah. The only one that can catch sheep's head, apparently. 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 That's a better one. Oh. <laughs> I'm bouncing him. Woo! Oh, Ow! I poked me. I poked myself right in the chest. Yeah! I did it! I did it. All right, now you've not caught really anything in. Damn it. <laughs> I caught a rock. He choked it. He did choke it. Too. Well, there you go, boys. He freaked it. Yeah. Sheep ahead, sheep ahead. Some of my favorite fish to eat. And they got wild chompers. How about that? Oh, he's, he's being nice. Oh, oh. The camera will focus. Look at those crushers. They, they got all the roof in the, they got them all the way in the roof of their mouth and the bottom of their mouth. And they got human teeth in the front. Eee, oh, all right. oh, God, he slapped me. <laughs> did, you get, did you get another one? Yeah, they're biting right now, finally. This is our third spot. Uh, and this is, it seems to be the best bite of fish that we've got on so far. Yeah, so they're not gonna last. It's not gonna last. Well, we better catch them, boys. Catch them while we can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get them, son. Get them oh my god, I got it right here. It's a red bash. It's a red bash. Red bass. Lazy Keeper. red bass. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, come here, fish. Let's keep us having water. Oh god. Nice. Ooh. Big chunk. Big chungus. Come on. Yeah, finally, they're here. That was pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Surprised you didn't get eaten by a shark. Oh my god. Okay. That's not Hold them up for the camera, for all the people. Look at that. Red bass, baby. Pretty, pretty one cool. for the jetties. Yeah. Remember they're all beat up? I know, it's a nice pretty one. Free tail. Yeah, look at that. No people teeth. No people teeth? <laughs> <laughs> look at this blue tail. Dude, their, their, their tail turns blue because they eat crabs. I've uh, always heard that. Yeah, crabs and shrimp. I think they would turn pink if it was shrimp, right? Oh, big twenty nile. That's flamingos. It's the same chemical. Same I can't remember chemical? the name of it. I'm gonna the look same it up. Chemical I'm gonna hydrogen peroxide. Future, what? Gravity. It's not hydrogen not peroxide. Gravity. Future Joe is gonna tell you that <laughs> chemical right now. Future Joe here editing this video. They're actually called carotenoids, and they're in a lot of different foods. And obviously, as humans, we don't turn pink or blue like redfish or flamingos. They actually act as an antioxidant and can help us uh, with UV protection. There's your science fact of the day. You learned something today. Congratulations. Pretty fish. There you go. Pretty fish. Hey, buddy. There he goes. Woohoo! Cool. Oh, a nice little jetty rock fishing for the end of the day. Yeah. A little bit of different flavors. Swimming with it. There you go, Andrew. Oh, he's got one. He's got one? You did it. You can catch fish. Guys, I know it's the end of the day, but Andrew's fishing with us too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a reminder, we do have a third person on the boat. <laughs> Joe, you just caught your first fish. I caught I caught a margate earlier. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, now you're counting margates. Okay. No, I'm not counting margates. Hold them up to the camera for the folks. For the folks. So, I can't even see. Yeah. 
There you go, another one. In the well. I suppose. Lenny. Big Lenny. Little heifer. Heifer. So they're called hairy blennies. Look that hair on their head. What? Look at that. They got hair on their head? Yeah, see it standing up? It's in focus. Kids always call them Afro fish. Oh, no way. See a little hair right there? That's weird. Is it in focus? No. Keep holding it. Okay, you gotta get there it. Go. Go. <laughs> Whatever. <See ya. laughs> you get the point. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, so we are gonna go fish some other spots, some other spots that I don't want all of you to figure out. So, uh, obviously, we're here at the jetties. Everyone fishes the jetties, knows how to fish the jetties, so. It's something I was okay doing. I don't like to blow up inshore stuff because a lot of people work really hard to find these fish. And uh, this is kind of the place that everybody fishes, so I can kind of justify it. But I'm gonna swing it at Doington Creek Fish Camp. Alrighty, boys. Cleaning sheep's head is pretty much the same thing as cleaning a regular snapper. However, for this clean and cook, I kind of want to do something different. I've always been curious about the size of their cheek muscles, but obviously they're such a small fish, it's kind of hard to dig them out. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bake his head and his collar all in one and just see how much meat's actually there. Little uh, science experiment in ways. But to flame, you just flame like a regular snapper. Take your sword knife. Also, guys, admittedly, I scuffed the last giveaway because uh, I think if you put the link in with the comment that I said, to type in to enter the contest. Uh, YouTube doesn't like links in comments, so uh, just comment, wow, Joe, that's a cool sword knife. I love the gun grip, pow. And uh, you'll be entered for this one. And also it kind of works out well because uh, there's a lot of people that aren't subbed that are that have watched that video and uh, this is not gonna get as many views, I know it's not. And so it, it allows the regular viewers of my channel to enter. So good for you guys. <laughs> Quick cut. Easy to do with a sharp knife. Roll the rib cage through. Just like that. What I'm cutting out, I just skin them and I take the pin bones out. And shave off this little stuff right here. This little bit. Out of the side. Just go flip it over and either side of that red. Take that out and you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop it, you know, right here. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna bake both of these heads and see uh, how it goes. Obviously the collars are good. I've eaten sheep's head collars before, um, but I'm gonna try something new out. Oh yeah, and obviously this is not Julington Creek Fish Camp as I said before. It's Monday and they are um, closed for lunch. And Matt is on vacation right now. So that's why I'm kind of doing this experimental thing to keep things interesting, because obviously I'm not as good as those cooks, but hopefully you enjoy it anyways. But um, I also didn't film inside because my, my roommate's on a call, but there you go, popping it in the oven with pepper and salt at 4.30. Alrighty boys, we got them out. And the reason why I wanted to see how big their cheeks are is, um, so they have super, super strong jaws because they're essentially eating rocks and shells all day and just hard stuff in general. So assuming they can do that because they have giant cheek muscles, I guess. So I'm gonna see if they have. Uh, oh wow, that's actually a lot. It goes down a lot deeper than I thought. It goes like way down into their face. Yeah, that's got a really big muscle for a fish this size. Well, maybe not really. It's kind of surprising. See that little cavity? Let's try it out. It was really, really good. It's not a lot of meat, but that's really interesting. Oh, oh boy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I 
Ew. Mmm. Kind of just lost my appetite, but that's okay. Boys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, an embarrassingly low amount of people that watch my videos are subscribed compared to the not subscribers, so if you like it, it help me out a lot. And if you want to win a sword knife, uh, comment the thing and put the pow in parentheses for the gun grip. Pow! All right, boys. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.